This is a joint presentation by ACOBAMS and Miha Seti. ACOBAMS is an international organization since 96, covering the Mediterranean, the Black Sea and the contiguous Atlantic area. ACOBAMS is the responsible for the implementation of the high quality whale watching certification mechanism in its 24 member countries. A quick note on the Pelagos Agreement, which is a regional organization with three member countries, which are also members to ACOBAMS, France, Monaco and Italy. Thus, Pelagos jointly implements with ACOBAMS this certification when it comes to these three ACOBAMS countries. Since 2004, studies showed these activities were increasing in the Mediterranean Sea, thus intensifying pressures on animals, which all consider should be contained. Some responsible operators supported by important NGOs came together at the initiative of the French National Park of Porcro, the Pelagos Agreement and ACOBAMS. This regional collaboration led to the creation of a voluntary management tool to ensure the sustainability of observation activities while mitigating the level of disturbance on cetaceans. So that's all it all started as a voluntary certification to distinguish responsible operators. Uh, and then there was this step-by-step -step approach. In 2007, the formal establishment of the certificate. In 2014, the registration of the trademark by ECOBAMS, the logo and regulations. And in 2016, the certificate was formally launched with the mechanism of national implementation. ECOBAMS established guidelines for commercial cetacean watching and prohibiting sweep prohibited swimming with cetaceans, amongst other adverse pressures. With what purpose? The purpose was to mitigate the many adverse impacts on cetaceans. Sadly, we are all aware that such activities may result in significant uh, interference, which in turn may cause drastic modifications to the normal behavior of these animals. We were also aware of the lack of information and realized how collecting data from sustained observations would add knowledge on the state of the cetacean populations. So how does this work? How does this certification um, and delivery of, of the label works? So there is there are two possible processes. A public where governments adopt national rules in order to implement the certification system through their relevant bodies, so at the national and centralized level, and the private, when governments choose to delegate to specific entities the implementation of their certification uh, process. So in case of private implementation, uh, we sign a specific convention with the private entity. Once, of course, the member country allows for that uh, approach to be taken. How does it work for commercial operators? The Code of Conduct contains guidelines and conditions for this interaction with cetaceans in order to avoid the harassment of these animals during observation. These are some of the components of the Code of Conduct, which is based on good practices. So basically the idea is that observation activities comply with the Code of Conduct on good practices jointly adopted by ACOBAMS and Pelagos Agreement. Secondly, offering nature-oriented trips rather than mere observation excursions. Lastly, they should contribute to research and conservation activities through sharing data on sightings and also by hosting researchers on board, for instance. And now I would leave the floor to Morgan now to explain these certification commitments more in detail when it comes to the framework offered to commercial operators in France. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm going to present the more technical aspect relating to the implementation of the certification on national territory with the example of the French Mediterranean area. The certification is based on a national specification published on the basis of the ACOBAMS trademark usage regulations. The rules of use constitute the common base for all countries, which means that the specifications must contain at least all the rules of use, but that may also be more restrictive if the country considers it necessary to supplement them with special terms and conditions.
By signing the specification, the operator commits to several axes. First of all, he must have followed a special training course dealing with cetology and teaching good animal observation practices. Note that a certified structure must always have a trained person on board for the execution. Then, in order to limit the absolute responsibility for result and to avoid pressure from customer and the operator, it is important to promote naturalist trips rather than the strictly focused on cetaceans. As observation can it be, cannot be guaranteed, this allows for, for diversification of discoveries and customer satisfaction. In the commitments, compliance with the code of conduct for the observation of marine mammal in Nasty is the central pillar of the certification. Breaking the rules of this voluntary code may lead to immediate revocation of certification depending on the seriousness of the facts. The high quality while watching certification guarantees excursions with a quality message delivered on board by the guide. This message is based on his own on his own experience, reinforced by the dedicated training he has received. Thanks to it, excursionists are able to present the different species of cetaceans, discuss the streets they face and the management measure in place to preserve them, but they are also able to talk about many other things related to the marine environment. It, had, it has been proved that the contribution of whale watching operator to research was a real advantage both for the image of the operators and for the interest that this represents for scientists. With the certification, the operators are in particular committed to transmit their observation regularly. Earlier, I told you about the possibility of making a specification more binding than the rules of use. Well, as much as the prohibition of swimming with is well written in the rule of use, so much the aerial detection is not. It's the, it is therefore a modality added by France. French cetologists consider that aerial spotting constitutes an additional pressure because it implies an obligation of result, where chance could have, spread, could have spared a group in the operator if the operator had to, uh, to rely on visual detection from the ship alone. Concerning the functioning of the specification management on a national territory and in, a and in our case in France, there, there are four main lines of work. First of all, it is important to consider all operators in whole certification improvement processes. This is a tool that has been co-construed with the operators and it must remain so to ensure a fair compromise between what is ecologically and economically acceptable. Otherwise, there is a risk of imposing measure on operator and thereby seeing them leave the certification. To ensure, to ensure the success of the certification, it is important to communicate, to communicate it to potential consumers. This is why a great deal of work is done to make the certification known and to create a positive response for the virtuous operators. There is a lot of work to be done on this point given the attractiveness of cetaceans and the pressure that it, gives to, that it gives customers to be as close as possible to them. Every year, Mira City organizes the three-day training that, make, that, make, that makes eligible for the certification. To validate the training, the participants must pass a test at the end of the session. Finally, to guarantee the quality of the certification, it is important to carry out control visits during excursion. During these visits, Mira City makes sure that all the requirements of the specification are respected. When then draw, we then draw up a visit report that we submit to the supervisory committee with the participation of beneficiary operators. We decide, to get, we decide together on the follow-up action to be taken. And depending on the infraction noted, we provide support to enable the operator to improve its activities and comply with all specifications. At, at present, the management of the certification is based on three types, three types of funding. The provision of services, which includes the operator's annual fees, and the provision of training. 
public subsidies which cover the vast majority of expenditure, uh, of expenditure and self-financing. But to be sustainable, certification must no longer depend on state, state subsidies. It must be economically viable. To do so, it must be self-financing. In a recent study, we explored several possibilities for improvement to make the economic functioning of the certification viable. The main option selected concerns the financial participation of the well watcher through the tail of tickets. With a few years of setbacks since 2013, we identify advantages and limitations in the implementation of this certification. First of all, it is important to underline that the certification is a very good tool for initiating a management of the activity in the absence of legal regulatory measures. Contrary to a simple charter, certification is accompanied by a quality monitoring and evaluation process which guarantees quality to the client. Second of all, it creates a sense of belonging among the beneficiaries and allows them to better federate around the, around the, around the conservation of cetaceans. In this way, they develop cooperation on water, they organize and regulate each other. Finally, the relationships of trust created with them and the collaboration that we maintain allows us to benefit, to benefit from study platforms. The main current limitation we are facing concerns the familiarity of the general public with the certification. For it to be interesting for operators, it must confer an economic added value. However, this added value has not yet been proven, so there is no risk, no risk of contravening the guidelines. Furthermore, we note a lack of involvement of operators in the valorization of their certification. The promotional work that we carry out at Mirror City is not an house. The operator must take ownership of their own tools and valorize them. In view of this observation, thanks to the above mentioned study, we have identif identified two principles for improvement. Reinforce the role of the certification as a privileged partnership for operator and develop added value thanks to a competitive tourist and scientific offer. Thank you for your attention.